Today on Tommy's Trains, we're going to take a look at this Thunder Valley N scale set. It's ready to run right out of the box, and it's made by Bachman. This is a beginner set, and it comes with a, a circle of Bachman's Easy Track, which has the rails molded in. It's very easy to assemble. I'm going to unbox this with you today. We're going to take a look at all the parts and pieces and we'll give it a run so you can take a look at this train and see if it's something that you're interested in picking up. Now, I bought this set primarily because I wanted the GP40 locomotive. I got it very cheap. Uh, I only paid 50 bucks for the whole set and I know they retail for about $150. So this is a, a great deal that I picked up so this was a great deal for me and uh, the color of this locomotive, even though it's not DCC, it's just a regular old DC locomotive, which means there's no sound. You can't run two trains separately with DC, but I'm old school and I like this train. So we're going to op open it up and we'll go through all the parts. So we have both the Bachman Easy Track and the Kato Unitrack. I prefer the Kato, but Bachman is also a very good track, particularly the Nickel Silver, which has a less tendency, lesser tendency to, to tarnish, and it has good electrical pickup on it. So it's, it's a really good system. What you have to be careful of is just making sure that these rail joiners lock in properly. And so you want to kind of assemble it on a flat surface, and then kind of put your eyeball down and make sure there's no rough edges. Sometimes one of the rails will pop up over the joiner and then you've got a, a potential problem. So it's very important that as you're assembling it that you're paying particular attention to the rail joints to make sure that you don't have what you see here. Interestingly, this set came with a second terminal rear wheel. These train sets come with very easy to use plug-in wiring. So you've got a red cord that plugs into the terminal re-railer. You make sure you push that in so that it fits snugly. It uh, has to kind of snap in the final way, otherwise you won't get contact. This set also came with a little bag of Rapido style couplers. The set came with uh, Bachmann's version of a knuckle coupler. They're non-functional, so they aren't like the Easy Mate couplers where you can open and close the knuckle coupler. They're kind of just already a, a permanent fist, so to speak, and uh, they they work okay. But if you're going to be serious, I would change them out for the the Easy Mates or or Katie's or something. This makes it compatible with an existing train set that you, that you might have. Here we've got our Electromotive Division EMD GP40. It has all-wheel pickup and eight-wheel drive. first car we're going to put on is a 50 foot reefer and it seems to have come apart in the box but that's not a big deal we can push that right back together next we have our classic triple dome tanker it's a 40 footer pan salt and I'm gonna weather all these cars later on, but just for the sake of this video, we're just gonna take them out of the box and, and run them. Lastly, we have our wide vision caboose with the cupola. This is called a wide vision because as you can see, the cupola kind of overhangs the sides a little bit and this gives better vision down along the sides of the train. 
Now Bachman, to save costs, puts the same road number on all of their basic starter set cabooses. So you'll notice that the yard, yard boss and this one also have the same caboose, same everything. I really like this EMD GP40. It is precision engineered and they didn't lie, it is very smooth running. It also will slow right down to a snail's pace, which is good because it's not jerky. Some of the cheaper locomotives you'll find that they're very jerky in operation and this one is not. This one works very smoothly. So thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out uh, the, the playlists because you'll be seeing a lot more train videos coming up over the course of the winter. I've got a number of trains that we'll be calling out, some Tyco operating accessories, some Bachman operating accessories, a whole bunch of stuff that I'm pulling out of my, my toy boxes here from my childhood. So stay tuned. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you have any comments on these starter sets, put them down below. And again, I appreciate you watching. Uh, take care, and we'll see you next time.